Hello everybody, I'm Alan and we're Overland Camping Death Valley. Today, we're headed to Titus Canyon Road, the Ubi Hibi Crater, and the Racetrack Playa, here on Borderline Explorer. We set out to Death Valley with Team John DZ Adventuring. He is a huge inspiration for this channel. Shout out to John for making this trip unforgettable. From the get-go, you will be surrounded by rugged mountains and desert terrain on the way into Death Valley. Why be bothered by loud neighbors or other campers? There are more than 3 million acres of wilderness at Death Valley and almost 700 miles of dirt roads open to camping. We had time to ourselves in the evening, but couldn't resist the urge to hit some of these popular destinations during daylight. Titus Canyon Road, Ubihibi Crater, and the Racetrack Playa. As a small bonus, Rhyolite Ghost Town is very close to the entrance of Titus Canyon Road and is worth your visit. There are a plethora of ghost towns in abandoned mines of Death Valley. Do mind the nails from older buildings and avoid as much dirt road as you can around Rhyolite. While recommended as a 4x4 trail, to be honest, can be done in two-wheel drive with high clearance in dry conditions. Titus Canyon Road is a 27-mile one-way road that starts in Nevada and ends in California. The last three miles on the west end are two-way. Allow two to three hours to enjoy colorful rock formations, vistas, a small ghost town, and the narrow canyons on Titus Canyon Road. On the way in, you'll be going over corrugations which can be rough on your suspension components. So you've got two options. Air down the tires and take it slow, or fly by to stay on top of this washboard. Pay attention to the color of the road. It may change from brown to white to red, depending on which layer of rock you are on. Once you start seeing red roads, the climb to Red Pass begins. Red Pass is 5,212 feet above sea level and the highest point of this road. This is a great place to rest and take in the views. On the way down, you'll pass by Lead Field a mining boom town of 300 people that was abandoned after 7 months in the 1920s. After entering Titus Canyon, you'll see petroglyphs, Indian rock carvings found throughout the western hemisphere. Unfortunately, the rocks were defaced and not all too spectacular during our visit. It got narrow. Take it slow and look up when you have the chance to. Driving through the narrows is your reward for completing Titus Canyon Road. I appreciate you watching our channel. Please hit like and subscribe so we can grow Borderline Explorer together. Ubi Hibi Crater was caused by an explosion from below. Rising magma, hot molten rock turns groundwater into steam 
and this intense pressure builds and builds until explosion, leaving behind craters, Ubihibi being the largest in the area. The crater is over 500 feet deep, and you are able to walk down. Just remember, you have to walk the way back up. So instead of that, we opted for nearby trails walking the perimeter of Ubihibi to see smaller craters in the area. Right by the crater is a road that leads into Racetrack Playa. This road is long and brutal, corrugated from start to finish. Either race right on by and stay on top of these corrugations, or slow way down and take your brakes so your shocks don't end up melting. This road is infamous for damaging suspension components and flattening tires. When nearing the destination, you'll come across Tea Kettle Junction. Tea Kettles. Racetrack Playa is a dry lake bed where rocks mysteriously move and leave trails. This mystery was solved recently in 2014. The recipe for moving rocks requires four ingredients. Rain that turns the playa into a shallow lake, freezing temperatures that embed the rock into ice sheets, the morning sun that causes the ice to break up, and steady strong winds that push the ice sheets along with their embedded rocks. Once the ice sheet melts, the rock is left with a track behind it. Would you like to see more of Death Valley? How about other national parks? Leave a comment below to let us know where you're headed for your next overland trip. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.